Madden. Contesting with Cloak. Came out the back door. Phillips, who normally likes to handball, does get a kick away. McAllister beaten for height. Williams waits down. Gives it across to Folds, who goes down towards the forward line. Taylor in trouble, ridden into the ground by Bahaja. McCormack goes into lend assistance, and the umpire decides upon a bounce. So in the danger zone again, as far as Collingwood's concerned. It's been in this half of the ground for most of the quarter. Beautiful tap, snap in towards goal, and the mark taken on the last line of defence. And it'll see Collingwood come away as uh, Michael Taylor receives the handball from Morwood, then goes in towards the centre with a proppy looking kick. They'll get out of trouble as McLean to half forward. Beers is there, can't complete the mark. In opposition, Bradbury. Two youngsters. Beers puts his body between Bradbury and the ball, and the umpire decides upon a bounce. Beers is saying, what do I have to do to get a free kick? And from the bounce. McAllister, beaten foot by Salmon, folds, long kick towards half forward, Vanderhaar in the middle of the pack, but Phillips punches the ball away, Neville Shaw overruns it, picked up there by Toomey, across to Allen, Allen puts it wide, Barham in position to take the mark, an easy one it is. Ricky Barham, keeps the ball wide with a lead from Tony Shaw, and Shaw takes the mark. Tony Shaw in the forward pocket, just inside the boundary line. <laughs> nice looking kick from Tony Shaw, right up to the goal square. McAllister came over the top, the snap by Russell, it's a goal. Sevens Big League is part of the 1984 Nissan VFL Premiership season. And Essendon leading at every change, three points at quarter time. They kicked away in the second term to lead by 43 at half time, increased that to 64 at three quarter time, and finally won the match by 63 points. The goal kickers for Essendon, headed by Paul Salmon, who again got a bag of goals, eight today. And for Collingwood, their main goal kicker was Tony Shaw, and he finished up with four goals. Stats on the match this afternoon from Windy Hill. Kicks in favour of the Bombers, likewise the Marks. The freeze just about even, the handballs 105 to 85 in favour of the Bombers and the hit outs, Essendon's tall timber serving the well again 53 to 22. And at Windy Hill for Sevens Big League, Stephen Phillips. Thank you Peter. Well, last year Paul Salmon was a lanky teenager who played only nine senior games. This year in three games he's already established himself as one of the superstars in league football. Today he kicked eight goals against Collingwood to take his tally in just three games to 22 goals. And old timers out here at Windy Hill are talking about him in the same hushed tones they talked about the late and great John Coleman. After the game I caught up with Paul Salmon. I owe lots of the boys coming down from up the field. I mean they're playing me really well at the moment and I've got to I've got a job to do because there's people, folks in the twos, putting pressure on for that full forward spot, like Steve Copping, so hopefully they're not going to stop me. Talking about the pressure, the amount of uh, publicity that you've been getting, coupled with the success, is this hard to handle? Uh, well, a lot of people would think so, you know, but uh, I just try and brush it off. I mean, I've got a lot of people behind me, uh, really behind me, that don't let me, uh, so let the publicity get to me, so uh, I'm in good hands, I think. When you start so well, so kicking goal after goal without kicking behinds, just how much is the confidence soaring? Oh, it's, uh, it's not a matter of con confidence, it's a matter of concentration after that, you know. Uh, you can't let yourself relax when you're shooting for goal or when you're leading for a ball at the mark, you know, because I thought uh, the last few years I fell down that area, now I'm starting to really, uh, you know, become, become more consistent with it. With more than 30 possessions, one of the stars of the day for the Dons was Merv Neagle. Now we've got a spearheaded uh, full forward, I think that we are starting to play together better, and also we've got a better target to kick at this year, so I think... I think we're uh, a better side than we were last year. Well, I suppose the Essendon supporters have gone fish mad over the past few weeks. Just how conscious are opposition play players and teams of trying to cover him? Oh, I don't know, mate. What are they going to do to stop him? I mean, uh, today they tried to, they tried Ronnie to you know, out-bustle him, and then they had McAllister on him, tried to rough him up, and they were holding him. And even when they hold one arm, he's still taking it with one hand. And uh, I don't know, mate, maybe he's another John Coleman. He's just a freak. He certainly is playing well. Paul Salmon, the winners of our TAB phone account competition.